I'm gonna like this one, you know. I'm working, man, you know. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. We don't like what I'm going chief, you know. Why, you know? Because I really don't know nothing. Whoever do something, who deserve it. But the lady don't deserve it. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it simple me the universe is always answering your prayers. If you think the response is no, trust you are not denied, only being redirected to better than you requested. If the answer is for you to wait, use the delay to work on welcoming and asking for more. If the answer is yes, celebrate. You are ready for the level up. You are constantly being guided to what you want. Be open to how and when. Anyway, people, what go on, my people? Open body in okay, open body in all right. When it hurts, stop and observe. Life is only trying to direct you to what you truly deserve. Let me tell you something. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. People, you want to see the big smile on my face this man when wake up and see some me alive and me not dead. Anyway, I can go into some news. A woman who was charged in connection with the stabbing death of a Portland man in May this year has been acquitted. Kamaya McIntosh was free on Tuesday following an application by her attorney, John Jacobs, in the Portland Parish Court. Mr. Jacobs, we know so what China man? Kamaya acting as self defense when she stab up grab a zone. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? The same with them calling closer. But anyway, people, make I move on to the news there. Cause that done right there. So the police high command is probing an incident in which a 19-year-old woman was raped inside a cell at the Pedro Plains Police Station lockup in St. Elizabeth last month. Marvin Montague, a 28-year-old lifeguard, has been charged with raping the team. It's reported on November, Mr. Montague and the 19-year-old female were detained at the lockup awaiting charges against them. One morning, the lifeguard was let out of his cell to clean up the area. It's alleged that he removed the padlock from the door of the cell occupied by the teen and had sexual intercourse with her against her will. The 19-year-old filed a complaint with the police on December 6th after Montague was released on bail. An investigation was launched and guess what, people? Montague was arrested on Tuesday and charged. But I'm going to tell you something. I'll slap him for the boy. I'll slap him. You understand? Watch it now, people, because knife in play. You know, say once knife in play, a tab up people get tab up. A man was fatal to stab during a dispute in Retreat St. Anne's on Tuesday night. The suspect is in custody. The deceased has been identified as 25-year-old Daniel Codner of Retreat in Brownstown. He supported at about 10 o'clock. Mr. Codner was walking along the roadway in Retreat when a man approached him. His people an argument developed and a knife was used to stab Codner several times. They man take out him knife and tab, tab, tab up the man. Like I see my stab up. You understand? He ran to his neighbor's house and was assisted to the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital. But guess what? I said, drive through the gate, right there saying, kicky bucket. The suspect now, the man who stabbed up the man, can you believe me, people? The police, them go up by me, I'd go pick him up right in my bed with a knife right beside him. Wash off, clean, 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 clean. Them a police have been a fool long as St. Anne's though. I'll slap the fool, I'll slap the boy. Just as all, just as all. When no dog involved in us telling about the man, them. Slap a doggy. Let me tell you about that now. In Canada, I live a little funny place still. You understand people because he pay light bill at Chilani and he play water rate in a Manchester. So he live by the border. Right, right, right. That's all. Let me tell you what one power what one. A talk separator was shot dead in his home. He has been identified as 46 year old Fitzroy King, otherwise called Doggy. It reported that residents heard a loud explosion at about 8 o'clock and called the police. Guess what, people? King was found lying at his gate with bullet wounds. Yes, right in I made him get shot and sight leak out. He was pronounced dead. Right, 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 past spot. Right there, 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 there. So you understand? Hold on now. Right now I say James McGann, but I'll give the people the update, pant up, update, pant up, update. Investigators are probing a suspected revenge killing in York Bush and Chauvy St. James after a gunman invaded a house Wednesday morning, leaving one woman dead, another seriously injured. The deceased has been identified as 53-year-old Melvia Cross. 
Miss Cross is the mother of Anthony Angus, who before his capture in October was listed as St. James' most wanted fugitive. The second victim, yes, oh people, I'm concubine, you understand? Who is reported in critical condition in hospital is Angus concubine. Yes, a senior investigator told a news team that about 10 o'clock Wednesday morning, armed thugs invaded the house with a woman and shot them. Angus, who was kept in St. Elizabeth during a manhunt, has been charged with killing two well-known figures in York Bush community. Remember me and talk about that? But for the people that are new to the platform, I'm going to tell you who Angus did kill. Gilbert Jackson, a 56-year-old carpenter and 64-year-old businessman, Henry Solomon, were killed when Angus allegedly opened fire on a truck transporting the two. They were reportedly killed after refusing to give him money. Yes, extortion, the boy, you collect, you understand? The boy, you collect extortion money around from the people in place. And the man, the man said, no, 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 no. Go and go walk, you understand? And that make him kill the man them. You understand? But see they now. Him turn the bullet on him family. Him and the people them the community. And the cars I mad at them. Say what I said I mean not I said that I mean I take it back. Cause I always know say right down the yard right there. So him and the woman hide. You understand how the police tell me that look for him. Who need to hide him too? So I mean I want to know come 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 ball. You understand? But this is how the people in my community have to say. Me not like this fag one, you know. I'm working man, you know. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah, we don't like what I go and see if you know. Why, you know? Because the lady didn't do nothing. Whoever do something, who deserve it. But the lady didn't deserve it. You don't deserve it. You don't do nothing. No, I don't scare. Mm. Believe me, you know. Because I don't do anybody nothing, you know. Yep. Trust me, I don't scare. Anyways, watch me can move on. We're going back in a sentence, my people. Over 25 persons has been taken into custody in St. Anne's since the state of emergency was declared in the parish last Tuesday. What land have you been now? 25. When you really I tell me, say, 25 people, when you go so boom, pick up and carry behind bars, go pull them for them taxpayers' money. Tell me how this makes sense. You, police, yeah, man, you me a talk to, do I, police? Tell me how it makes sense. People, you are going to power, go I am very pleased since last week, Tuesday, to report to you that we are seeing tremendous results as a result of the state of public emergency in St. Anne. So far, we have arrested a number of persons, violence producers, and I can indicate to you that in those numbers, over 25 persons so far taken into custody, we are seeing um, some arrests for some wanted persons for murders, shooting incident, robberies. All right, so we are making tremendous headway as it relates to the state of public emergency in Centre. As the police commander for Centre, I welcome the state of public emergency. What it does for us as law enforcement official is to give us some added powers to treat with crime and criminality. We are going after the violence producers, the criminal elements. So our wanted person list, we have been refreshing those. We are working in collaboration with our partners uh, from the JDF. My only wish is that we would have this power for a little longer than the initial 14 days. But it is reaping tremendous success. The state of public emergency for you business person centered, it means added reassurance. But it's gonna be a terror to the criminal elements in center. I want somebody to tap the white pan him shoulder and tell him say garbage. Big, big, big phone is in my chat. We never tell if we go pick them up and carry them behind bars. Slap away, you slap away all of them. Member, member good. The commissioner back you. You understand if you don't believe me, you're here. Do your work fairly, firmly, rule of law, obey the law, do what you're supposed to do. Do not be cowed or cowed by people because of their narratives. Do your work. You're not going to be left out there flapping in the wind by yourself. Certainly not as long as I'm your commissioner. Just do what you have to do. Do the right things. Get the work done. If you need to put people in custody, put them in custody. If you need to detain them under the current laws and regulations, do so. Do it. Who want to talk? Let them talk. But we're saving lives. We're saving lives. If the people you are putting into custody are the right people, the bad people, put them. We are. We have to operate within the bounds of the law. Fine. Absolutely. But when we have powers, use your powers. Don't abuse your powers. Use them. 
You see, if you listen to me, you can't go wrong. Slap where all of them say what I said, and I mean what I said. I know me already, people. I'm not taking back. Hold on a bit. Guess which one I'm going Right back out of China Harbor. One of four men who reportedly entered the China Harbor Engineering Company facility in the Newport West, St. Andrew, on Tuesday, armed with guns, was shot and killed by a security guard. The police has confirmed. This is a second shooting incident at the facility in less than two days. Yeah, people. The man them mean it say yo. They ma go over the floor where them not put down. It is also the second time in two weeks that gunmen have attempted to gain access to the Newport West compound. Police source disclosed. The slain man, yes, the man them or the security guard slap for yesterday has not yet been identified. According to police source, four men entered the compound at about 5.50 p.m. in a grey motor car. It is believed that the same motor car used by gunmen to shot and kill the two security guards, Brandon Small and Lincoln Royal, at another facilities and plantation items. St. Andrew on Sunday. In yesterday's incident, sources said the security guard carried out patrol duty, was greeted with gunfire after he called out to the driver of the car to stop. Yes, the boy them take out them gun and stop me. Be a shot. Security, yes. This is security they have a paper spray and button. This is they have a machine, you understand? He returned fire and ran to get assistance. So they go to some boom and go circus for the next security guard them there. I demand them, I demand them and they come like you know, so you want to smile and royal. The one little security guard left and run him, run the hide. So we have fall off him thing. Because we think I dead, you dead. He said, no, 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 no. Me beat some shot off of them. Me go out there go look. On his return, the unidentified man sporting dreadlocks, one little ball tail, in a pink t-shirt, black shorts, and a pair of black slippers. One fake on him by from Mr. Chin store, matter of fact, thief in thief it, was found suffering from gunshot wounds. Dead, dead, dead. You understand? Dead, 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 dead. You don't need for them. Come, come identify a little ball tail. I'm a cool note with the pirate. So, for them business can't get fixed too. So what I said and I mean what I said. I don't know how to take you back. Anyway, people are soon come back.